she had already been in three homes at that point. And so we were gonna be her fourth placement and we realized how important our CASA was gonna be in our life. Um, our CASA would come to our home and meet and she was noticing a difference in Alyssa. She helped address and research concerns that we were noticing. But most importantly, our CASA made sure that Alyssa's voice was heard. Alyssa told our CASA that um, one time when she asked me to walk out of the room, this was her forever family. The CASA asked me to come back into the room and Alyssa gave permission to share that. And the CASA looked at her and looked at me and said, I have heard what you said and I will do everything I can to make sure your voice is heard. When it came time that we finally found out that we were gonna be able to adopt Alyssa. And we got that call. It was actually our Casa who called me at work that day. And it was the summertime. And I told her that it wasn't me who was gonna be the one to tell her. It was gonna be our Casa. because she's the one who said, told her personally, that she wanted her home to be her forever home. And I wanted her to be able to say, I heard you, and I was your voice. The role of a CASA, a court-appointed special advocate, is to be the voice of the child. And they go in and they really dig into um, the history of the child, um, interviewing people, and they're really just that voice to make sure that their needs are being met because they need to be able to have a choice too and be able to have that say in court. Today I'll never forget. <laughs> we met and we waited for him to tell. Alyssa was so excited. She was telling the waitress, I'm getting adopted. These are gonna be my parents. We'll forever be thankful for the role that the CASA and the guardian ad litem had in our life.